hope that it auto focuses. No, me too. All right, so we're back in the car. Don't mind it. We're gonna do our hauls. So first up, we got frozen coconut ice cream. It's feeling real melty already. There's what it looks like. Frozen coconut. Lemon meringue, and I got classic coconut. And it is coconut cream, agave, lemon extract of mine, and sea salt. Hmm, that's all. That's a lot less than I could. I also got chocolate coconut. Chocolate. <laughs> Focus! Were they stacked? Just because I'm like obsessed. It's not. Oh, wait. There we go. Just because I'm obsessed. Why not? I got um, a cold brew, brew, cold brew coffee. Because I just want to try it. <laughs> we also got some sushi. Yeah, we did. And then the last thing I got, I got a unsweetened, unsweetened mint honeysuckle tea with its brand. I like the packaging on that. Yeah, it's really pretty. The colors. Mm -hmm. And then I just got some conditioner for my head that keeps bleeding. <laughs> Which is this brand? I also got. <laughs> oh, for sourdough. <laughs> Yum. And it's warm. It's teamy. It's so good. It's so, so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna break into this tea. Yeah. Oh, I wish it was cold. Damn it. Okay, so now, oh, we also, I got a purse. Sean got a purse. Oh, shit, it's in the back, but. My purse. Very pretty. I like the, like, detailing on the edges. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Under 50, so yeah, not mad at that. They have really good prices in Charming Charlie's. They do. Um, I went to the bay the other day. Um, I always feel really so nervous. Expensive. I don't want to like come and say hello to you. I've been at the mall Mayfair twice, and oh, really? each time I've been like, I'm not going in there just in case. I I'm, I'm probably have been in the back. Maybe. Do I didn't even go in because yeah. I was too nervous. I didn't want to get you in trouble, so I was just like, I'm not even gonna like make her say like hi. <laughs> I'm just gonna not even go in there. I'll just use the big machine outside. But yeah, I went into the bay, and the prices of their purses were unbelievable. Yeah. I saw one that looked like this, and I was like, oh, that's so cute. Mm -hmm. Four hundred dollars. This was not forty. Like this one was twenty nine. I'm pretty sure. I feel like um. The Bay, since they remarketed to Hudson's Bay. Yeah. Like, well, I feel like the Bay has always had some expensive items, but mm -hmm. I feel like recently they've definitely been real expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe it's always been expensive and I've just never noticed, but. I think that it's more expensive. I feel mm. like it used to be more like Sears. Mm. And Sears was more like Kmart. Yeah. And Kmart was more dollar store. And yeah. then Kmart, gone. Oh, look at this lighting. And then Kmart's gone. Then Sears is now trying to step it up. Mm. I haven't been in Sears though in the last like. I like never go into Sears. No, I'm curious of what it looks like. I actually went in the other day, not the other day, the other um, months, two months ago. Yeah. Um, because I needed to buy new underwear and I love a jockey brand of underwear. Yep. And I bought the wrong kind. Like <laughs> the ones that I have that I love that I wear all the time are like 100% cotton. Yeah. And then the ones that I bought were like cotton and I don't know, like something not breathable, like polyester. And it's not polyester, but like nylon or like something yep. like that. And like, you can totally tell the difference. It does not feel breathable. It's like hot and sweaty down there and I hate it. But like I have to wear them because I spent so much money on them. <laughs> I, yeah, I love cotton underwear. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite. They're just so much more comfortable. Yep. But the reason why I like the jockey ones is because they're 
like high waisted almost. Mm -hmm. Go over your little tummy. Yeah. Ouch. That's what I went over too. Yeah. Otherwise, it just feels like so uncomfortable. Yeah. They're too low. I do like jockey too. I think I'm actually wearing jockey, but they're like really, really old and stuffy. Mm -hmm. Because those are my favorite kind of Yeah. Underwear. Sorry, Shane. Yeah. <laughs> you get under with it. It doesn't quite have holes in it, but it's so thin <laughs> because it's so old. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the first time I tried them, I was in the States. We were at the Seattle Outlets, mm -hmm. and I don't know why I bought underwear, but I was like, yeah, let's buy underwear. <laughs> and it was honestly like the best underwear that I ever bought. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But it is like really expensive. Like, it's not like La Senza you go and it's like five for 25 bucks. It's like one pair is, like I always go when it's on sale. Yeah. Otherwise it's like $25 for a single pair or like 20 bucks for a single pair. And I'm like, um. And you bought these at Sears? Yeah. Okay. So I didn't realize that Denny's is open 24 hours. Yeah. I want to go for like a midnight yeah, skillet. Down. Yep. Okay. Perfect. I keep saying it to Shane and he's like, why do you want to do this? I'm like, cause <laughs> when else, where else can you go get like yeah. breakfast at midnight? I, cause I That's first, another vlog that will be coming <laughs> yeah. to you soon. I first noticed because when I was driving my mom to the airport at 3 in the morning, I was like, it was a Saturday, Sunday or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, there's like people in there. And it was busy and they were like all wearing oh. Halloween costumes. Oh. And, and I was like, oh, they must be open late on the weekends, like on Friday, Saturday. And then they do their banking with CIBC. And so the guy was in, he's the manager, super friendly. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I noticed that you guys were open. He was like, yep, 24 seven. I was like, oh my God. Says in a grumpy, disdain <laughs> voice. No, he, but the weird thing is he's so like jovial and like, oh, it's just always the someone pancakes. there. <laughs> I'm like, who goes at like 3 a.m. on a Tuesday? Us. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> Uh, this guy's lights aren't working. Or like, what's going on? I can't tell. Where does this road even go? Yeah, sir. But that was like my same, my same fascination was when Superstore was like open for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Christmas time. Yeah. I was yeah. Like, I, I gotta went go. At midnight. I gotta go. Yeah. Because it was so peaceful. Yeah. Like nobody's nobody there. there. We can take this one it's faster. Yeah. I really don't want to work up on Sunday. Do you have tomorrow off? Then you work Sunday? Oh, right. Great I thanks. do, but um, I pick my mom up. Well, it's not too, too bad. Like, I'll sleep in a little bit in the morning. But I took my mom up from the airport at like 4 o'clock p.m. Yeah. Okay. You're like, yeah. no, not AM again. That's awful. And then I booked tickets for Doctor Strange, so we'll go see that. Cool. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's fun. And I was gonna maybe go home for Remembrance Day, but because this weekend is not actually a weekend, and last weekend wasn't really a weekend. Yeah. Um, I said to my mom, I was like, I might stay and have a three, have a legit. Long weekend. Yeah. I haven't had the luxury of having one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I had one in like September when I went home, but I feel like that doesn't count. Like a long weekend here. Yeah. No, I know. Every time I'm like, like this week I had three days off, but it's like, I did stuff Monday, I did stuff yesterday, I did yeah. stuff today. It's like, I didn't, I never just do nothing. Yeah. And it's because I hate doing nothing. Because mm. I just, I get so bored and then yeah. I'm like, let's make macaroons. Yeah. And then <laughs> I spend the whole day making macaroons. And then I'm so tired for the rest of the week and I did it to myself. Yeah. That's why I feel like every week should be, should have a three day weekend. Because I feel like you need a day of fun, you need a day of nothing, and you need a day of chores. There's a biker on here. Oh. Go biker, go, it's your right away. Go, go, go. Don't give us that look. Wait a minute, so you don't even have a freaking light on. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> oh, that makes me so angry. I hate driving bicyclists. I 
have a light on the front of me, a light on the back of me, and wear bright colored things. Yeah. She didn't have any light on her, no. and then she glares at us when we slow down. So I like can... dark colors. Yeah. Mm -mm, lady. I feel like you need to know if you're gonna ride a bike, a bike, a bicycle, on busy roadways, like you need to know the rules of the road for cyclists. Yeah. Which are the same as cars. Yeah. You act the same as a car. Mm -hmm. You watch your surroundings. You don't go through red lights, which so many bikers do, and I want to, like, clip them. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm a biker also. It yeah. makes me so mad when they're just like, do a brief pause and then go through. Yeah. No! You don't do that. You're gonna get hit. Yeah. Um, the other day, I was driving home. And there's people on the crosswalk, mm -hmm. and then a guy was like really trying to get through the traffic. Like he was trying to get to the red light as fast as he could. Yeah. And he almost hit three different people. Oh my god. Because he just like was right in front of the crosswalk, and then people were walking, and then he was obviously looking the other direction and started going, and there was another person still in front of his car. Yeah. Who was like, What are you doing? And then he like did it at the next crosswalk also. Almost hit humans. Wow. It's like, can you pay attention? Yeah. To where you're going? And what you're doing? Because I'd appreciate that. Some people just like, don't give a shit. <laughs> but you're driving something that's like a ton of weight. Yeah. Like literally a ton. Yeah. And you're going, like even if it's only 10, if you ride on top of someone, you're gonna hurt them. Yeah. I really want to know, like, Whole Foods, Target, like, income for people who shop there. You know what I mean? Like, average household income. Target in the States is more reasonable. Target in no, 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 no. Oh, Target there's the Target income. <laughs> okay. I think like, it's, I think like it's, market towards. There was a weird comma <laughs> in there. <laughs> Whole Foods, Target... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay. Like, do you think it's um, like seventy five thousand? I feel personal, like, like it wouldn't be seventy five combined. Personal, no. It would be seventy five individual, or like hundred and fifty maybe. Yeah, for you to do all your shopping there. Yeah. Here probably. Yeah. It just boggles my mind. Yeah, cause. Get in behind this red car. Okay, let's okay. see the next one. We need to check the mail because I ordered stuff and weirdly enough, none of the tracking is showing up as it's gone anywhere. That's amazing. With the lady that sent me free things on Etsy. Oh yeah. Um, she messaged me today and she's like, so Canada Post is being shit. Um, I, I promise I did send it. It shows <laughs> that it was scanned in on the 31st, but it hasn't been scanned again since. And I'm like, oh, I know. Don't worry. I trust you. Okay, we're home. Bye. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Love you.